ponder this on Thursday, just today and tomorrow. Now, I know I encourage you to do this, but there's a reason. There's a reason. I encourage you to hit share, all right, on either uh, our YouTube channel, if you're listening to us on that or on Facebook. Most people, most people that follow me, follow me on Facebook, okay? But whichever one. If you're enjoying Ponder This, then why don't you share it? Let other people know about it. I know, I know, I know there's a lot of people that could care less about hearing a preacher in the middle of the day, but I'll guarantee you there's somebody out there that needs to hear what, what, what I'm endeavoring to say to inspire, to lift up, all right? Sowing some seed, and you can be a sower. God told me that one time. Well, I, I was in, uh, my wife and I boys were in Central California preaching a revival meeting, and I'd done back-to-back -back meetings for months. I was wore out. We were traveling in a motorhome. My wife is teaching our three sons. This was years ago while they were young in school in a 30 a four foot motor home traveling all across this country. I'm preaching every night and I was just physically worn out. So I'm out doing my early morning walk and prayer time. And I said, Lord, you know, I, I'm just so tired. And, 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 and I wonder, is this doing anybody any good? And, and that kind of mentality, we all get there sometimes. Don't think we don't. And, uh, you know, and so I began to pray that way. And the Lord spoke something into my heart and, and, and he let me know right then and right there all right, that I was a water boy. He said, you know, and I said this, there, there's people that's already preached to these folks. There's people that has already sown into these people. All right. And then he said, that's okay. He said, one plants or sows, one waters, I give the increase. He said, you're a water boy. You're going around watering what's already been planted. Now, now, did I get offended at that? No, no. Whatever God calls me to do, thank God I can do it, all right? And I'm willing to do it. So what we need to understand is we need we need to grab a hold of God's word. We need to start sowing that word. And we do it by hitting share on some preacher that has blessed you or teacher that has blessed you. And you become a part of the sowing. You become a part of the watering of the seed that's already been sown. All right, I've taken almost two and a half minutes on that part, but you needed to hear it. Okay, get this now, get this. Gimmicks, gadgets, and goodies do not produce conversions, healings, or deliverances. It took his power to start the church. It would take his power for the church to fulfill its God-ordained destiny. In other words, God doesn't need any of your gimmick, gimmicks. He doesn't need any of your gadgets. He doesn't need any of that to build his kingdom it, took, it takes the power of God. If you don't believe it it, it, it took power, just go back to the book of Acts, the first two chapters, all right? You'll find out where this thing started. Then read the rest of the book of Acts and you will see the results of the power. And I believe with all of my heart, if that's how it started, then that's the way it's going to finish out. We are going to leave this old world a powerful church, not a beat down, burden down, barely making it church. No, sir. We came out, came in in power. We're going to leave in power. Forget the gimmicks. Forget the Hollywood holiness garbage. Grab a hold of the power of the Holy Ghost and know that with that Holy Ghost power, we will complete what God gave us the ability to complete what he started with the apostles in the book of Acts. God love you. God bless you. I could preach on that a while, but I'm out of time. I'll do it sometime though, guaranteed. God bless you. Love you. You are free.